Hi everyone. Hi, can you guys hear us? Just want to do a sound check, make sure that the audio and visual is correct. Um, if everything's working on your guys' end, can you guys hit a one and just drop drop uh, a line to say where you guys are tuning in from? Make sure you respond to everyone. Lisbon? Wow. That's awesome. Turn up the volume a little bit so we can hear our um, audio. All right. We can hear on. No echo. No echo. Let's turn up a little bit. So it's a little bit delayed. Why don't you put it over here and see? So we're just gonna give it a few more minutes and then I guess we can start. Does everyone have some cord ready and either a swivel D ring or a key ring or any ring of some sort to make the keychain? This is what we will be making today. Awesome. Are you able to make this key chain ring without the ring and then attach it on later? Is this possible? Yeah, Just yeah. in case they you don't have a... You just need a... You, just a normal key... round key ring works as well. It doesn't have to be a swivel D ring. This is what a swivel D ring looks like. But if you just have a regular ring like or a regular key ring? key ring, that works as well. Let me see if I can grab mine. We'll just give everyone a few more minutes and then we'll get started. Do you have a curing?
Awesome. Okay. I think we're ready to get started. So I want to start off by saying thank you for joining us for this workshop. It is, it was a little last minute in putting it together, but I am so glad that you guys are able to join us. We are hosting one today and then another one tomorrow. So if you like and enjoy this live workshop that we had done today, or if you've previously joined our first two workshops, I think that was around the December time frame. You can join us again tomorrow. Um, and then I guess before we get started, you will need some three millimeter or four millimeter cord. The cord that I used for this particular keychain is a three millimeter single strand in our squash color in our rainbow cord line. So if you guys are not familiar with our rainbow cord line, it's um, it comes in three different sizes for single strands. So three mm, four mm, and five mm. And in, to yeah, and, and in multiple different colors. And then we recently added 4mm 3 ply as well. And we will show you that too. Here's three so this is our 3 ply. As you can see, it's different than our single strand. But single strand is just one strand twisted. Whereas 3 ply. <coughs> Whereas three ply, you can see there's three smaller strands twisted into one single strand. Here is the larger. Five. This is five mm. Okay. You can show different sizes. I should. This is five. And then our, oh, and then our single strand comes in, of course, three different sizes. This is three mm, our thinnest cord. Depending on what project um, you want to work with, if I tend to use three um, mm for my smaller projects, and then work my way up in size as the project gets bigger. So for something like the large wall hanging, I will usually use 4mm or 5mm. You can see the macroweave wall hanging that I made in the back. I used 4mm for the base and then I incorporated other different fibers for the piece. Maybe explain about the metallics that we have. Yeah. So we also, in within our single strand cord lines, we do have um, ones that are spun with metallic threads and as you can see this is our silver fox color it's a fox gray color so it's like a light gray but then it also has one thick strand of silver metallic spun with it so it gives it that extra sparkle that you may want in your projects and then our newly added um, metallic color is our natural with gold. This one shines a little bit more since it has three thinner strands of gold metallics spun with the cord. And then we also have rose gold as well. It's our dusty pink color spun with one thick strand of gold metallics within. So these are some of our metallics. metallics. Cool. So I'll just put these to the side for now. And Eric, do you want to talk about our Amazon Prime Day deals? Um, yeah, what do we have going on? So <laughs> our Amazon Prime Day deals um, for today and tomorrow only, our cord is usually priced at 38 US dollars. And today and tomorrow, we're over 20% off, so 21% to be exact. $30 a roll for all rainbow cords. So if you guys are interested in getting some deals on cords, now would be the time to do so. I know in Canada, Amazon Prime Day is postponed and delayed. If you guys want to get discounted cord in Canada, we do have some discounts on our website. So if you guys want to yeah. check our website out for that, that'd be great. And not to mention, 
as well. Um, there's also a bundle deal, so yeah. you can mix and match cord. Of the same size, Yeah. but you can mix and match different colors, buy four, get one free for the $30 per roll deal. So if you if you end up getting adding five rolls to your cart, it's an added discount. Yeah. So just a few more house cleaning items that we kind of want to go over. So we have the jumbo roll now. Mm -hmm. And this is from our foundation fold line. This is more of a premium line. Yes, so it's a super soft organic cotton cord. It's different than our rainbow cord since these are made from recycled cotton materials where this is made from 100% natural organic cotton cord. So it is very soft, but it's also doesn't unravel too easily. So it makes it really great to work with. I usually work with this if I'm using a natural color cord and if I want to add some color then I would definitely use the rainbow colored cord. Mm -hmm. These are also on special today for 46 US dollars for today and tomorrow only. These are jumbo bulk rolls. And they come in 3mm and 4mm. And how much length? Um, it's, I don't know the feet, I can't remember 600, the feet. 600 meters for the 3mm. 3mm and 400, 400. meters for 4mm. So if we want to convert that to empirical, we're looking at 330 yards for... Isn't it 600 and something? That's feet. No, I think yards is closer to meters. No. <laughs> Can somebody double check that? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Anyways, so this is the jumbo cord. So it's great for bigger projects. So if you guys are in the business of selling macrame projects um, or if you're making a large macrame project. So I'll be, uh, we're having our wedding in September. So I'll be making a large macrame backdrop and I'm going to use one of those jumbo rolls for that. So, okay, let's get started with the macrame keychain. So why don't we go over some of the materials too? Like the yeah, 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 in a bit. Um, you will need some three millimeter or four millimeter cords. So I'll give you guys some time to gather your supplies if you don't have them already. You probably need some measuring tape to measure your cord. Um, you won't need that much cord since it's just one small keychain. And then you will need a key ring. Um, Eric, do you want to choose the color that you're going to use? And ask if we can use a three ply today. Can we use three ply? Yeah, you can use three ply um, as long as it's around three millimeter or four millimeter in size. You can use any type of cord. Mm -hmm. So even if you just have three ply, that would work as well. Did anybody have any questions before we get started? How's everybody doing? And if you guys don't know me, my name's Eric. Oh yeah, and I'm Nicole. Yeah. You guys don't know me. We do have a YouTube channel where we release a YouTube tutorial on macrame projects, so either a tip and trick tutorial or a DIY pattern on a weekly basis. So if you guys don't already know us from YouTube, then head on over there after this to check out some of our YouTube tutorials. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to try to be doing more live uh, workshops as well. So if you guys are interested in that, um, yeah, join in. Probably once a month. I'm going to try to improve my macrame skills. Okay, so are you using 3-ply? Three 3-ply? Three uh, or what are you using? Okay, I will be using... I want to use this natural... Sh this. Uh, gold silver fox yeah okay. the silver fox so i will be using dusty pink and three millimeter in size it's a single strand dusty pink color and i will be using this um was this silver fox so it's gonna have these metallics yeah mm -hmm. let's 
check it out. So to begin, you will need four strands of cord at 100 centimeters long. And I know for those of you in the States, want that in inches. So let me just do the conversion. In inches, it's about 40 inches. So 100 centimeters or 40 inches. If you, that's for three millimeter, if you're using four millimeter, I would add a little bit of length to that. So I would say just 110 centimeters, which would be about 43, 44 inches. Oh, where are we located in Canada? We're, we're located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So we're, we're up here in Canada. Yes, I am definitely going to post the backdrop I'm making for my wedding. It's going to be a wedding backdrop series that I'll post on YouTube. So this is going to be my fun summer project. Yeah. So we recently did like a baby series. Yeah, recently we did a baby series. Um, going over a lot of baby projects. Yeah, <laughs> that's because I was pregnant and waiting for our baby girl to arrive. So I was in a bit of a baby craze making baby stuff. But now that she's here, I'm looking to plan our wedding in less than three months because um, things are starting to open back up now here because um, COVID seems to be a little bit more in control. Um, so our plan is to have a wedding in September and then I'm making a large macrame backdrop for that. So stay tuned for that wedding series. I'm going to be doing a lot of little other things for the wedding as well. So, so, so yeah, just like a whole wedding so yeah, series. next thing is going to be a wedding series. So if you a guys, wedding series. if you guys have anything in particular that you guys want to see with regards to a wedding, so like even just wedding party favors or, um, decor for chairs. I've custom made, um, a wall hanging for, to hang up table, like table names, table plates. So there's a lot of great ideas floating mm -hmm. around out there. So if you guys have anything that you guys can think of that, or you guys want me to show how you can make it, then just let me know. Yeah. So this would be good for anyone that's looking to create like a wedding project or mm -hmm. sell like a macrame backdrop or mm -hmm. um, maybe like a gift. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. Okay. So if you, uh, we should cut some cords now. Okay. Sure. Let's begin. I'm excited. Yes. Where's my measuring tape? Oh. So. I'm just going to cut our four strands. Okay, so let's you can use it. this as a reference to cut yours. Okay. This is too thick. I think you need to use the other one. Oh. Yeah. So, how long is this? Uh, 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters. 40 inches. So the scissors that I am using to cut the cord is our rules gold scissors. We don't have them available on Amazon right now, but they're coming very soon to both Amazon Canada. Oh, actually they are on Amazon Canada right now. Yeah, you can get on Amazon. Yeah. So they are on Amazon Canada right now, uh, on Amazon US, they will be coming soon, within the next month or so. So here's my cord. So how many, how many of these are we cutting? Four. Four? So we're just cutting four of these uh, cutting cord. I'm a beginner, so mm -hmm. I might be a little bit slower than most of you guys. If you guys have been participated in our first two workshops, which were the mini wall hangings, Eric had made some 
by following along as well. It didn't turn out the best, but... <laughs> but he did improve in the second workshop, so it's been a while since we've done the workshops, so let's see how... Yeah, just getting back into the groove of things. Let's see how he remembers some of these knots. So I have my four strands three. cut now. We'll just wait till Eric has his cut. Okay. Will one jumbo roll do the backdrop? It really depends because I haven't really I have, haven't really started on it and have planned how much cord I was going to use, but I'll be probably using four millimeter size because it will be a bigger backdrop. Um, but I think one or two rolls will be sufficient for the backdrop. I'm hoping. Like one rainbow cord? Or? No, one jumbo roll or one or two jumbo rolls. So the big ones. Yeah. It depends how so big I'm going to make it too. So and how intricate of a design. I'm, I'm planning to add a lot of layers and a lot of intricate knots, so it will take up more cord as well. How long? Okay, I'll just post here. For those of you who are just joining, I have posted in the chat the cords, the cord lengths that you need. Sorry, that's 100 centimeters. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. I got four. Four, four. strands? Okay. Okay, so we will get started. All right. So this is what I call an alternating, or I guess it, it, this is what it's thing. called, it's an alternating half hitch knot chain pattern. Make sure it's on the screen, like yep. rod frame. And then we're going to connect these alternating half hitch knot chains with a square knot, and then we're going to repeat that again. This is a great pattern that you can incorporate in almost any other project. So you can use it to add as a layer in a macrame wall hanging, or you can use it to make the side pose for a macrame plant hanger as well. But today we're just going to practice this pattern for a macrame keychain. So to get started, you will need a key ring of some sort. This is a swivel D ring that I am using. You can get these at your local, actually, can, yeah, you can probably get these at your local craft store, it depends. Mm -hmm. But I got these off Amazon. Amazon has these in large packs. Um, you just need to search swivel D-ring. And the length, the width of mine, I think is 0 0.75 inches, which is the inner width. Yeah, I think uh, the length to the, to the key, to these key rings that are in the product description as well. So if you guys want to grab these exact ones, um, they should be down in the description. All right. Perfect. Okay, so to get started, take one strand of cord and we're going to fold it in half. So match the two ends together. And then Eric, do you remember how to make a lark's head knot? Lark's head knot? Yeah, that's my favorite knot. <laughs> okay, do you want to show everyone how that's done? I'm sure everyone knows how it's done. How do I do this? Oh, onto this keychain? Yeah. So. so you take the loop end through the D-ring part from front to back. And, and then pull it through? Yeah, you pull the cord end through. Maybe I should tape this down. Yeah. Excuse me, guys, and we'll get some tea. So, like Eric just did, we're going to take the loop and through, and then the two cordons through the loop, pull to tighten. 
And now we have one Larsen out. Tape this down, make it easier. Can you take mine down as well? Yep. Thanks. There we go. Perfect. And now we're just going to repeat this three more times with the remaining cords. We're going to attach them all side by side on the D-ring using our side dots. This right. Yep. And then once more. This is what we're making. Oh, you oh. made a backwards one. You made a reverse arc head knot. So, so front, front, front to back. This way? Yeah. And this goes in the hole? Yeah. Yeah, if your D-ring isn't too, if it's a little bit smaller, it might be hard to put all four cords on. But I would say at minimum, if you're using a swivel D-ring, at minimum, it should be a 0 0.75 inch width. A one inch width gives it a little bit more space if you're using a thicker cord. All right. Okay. Does everybody have their Lark's head on the keychain. Mine's looking good so far. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start the first part of the pattern. So we're going to work with the two cords on the far left and the far right first. So I'm going to start with the far left two cords. And we're going to make seven alternating half hitch knots. So this knot pattern is fairly simple once you get the hang of it. All you have to do is start with one working cord and then you're going to alternate sides. So I'm going to start off with the far left cord as, as the working cord first and then this cord next to it as the anchor cord and make a half hitch knot. So all you have to do is take the left cord over the right one and then take the cord end through the loop here. And that's one half inch knot. Perfect. Now we're going to alternating alternate sides, like I said. So this is the working cord this time. So flip it over, and then take the cord and go underneath, and then through the loop. Really? And, yeah, and then pull it to tighten. So all you have to do is continue alternating sides until you reach a total of seven alternating half inch knots. So we've made two, all we have to do is make five more. So we're gonna go Ooh. the left cord over again. Okay. So that's three, and then now the right cord over to the left, through the loop. That's four. And then left over again. And 
two, three, four, five, two more. So. And then put the left over the right. Ba bam. Look at that. There we go. And we've done our first set of alternating half inch notes. We're going to do the exact same thing with the right two chords. Okay. How do I mirror this now? Yes. So I usually like to mirror the sides so that they're symmetrical. I think we started with the outer chord first. So again, we're going to take this chord over because we're starting off with this chord as the working chord. And then we're going to pull the chord through the loop on the right. And then alternating sides, so now the left chord. This left chord? Yep, is over the right and then through the loop. Through this loop. Yep. So now that's two, so we keep alternating back and forth until we have seven. So this goes under, over. Let me know if this is too fast or if you want me to run through any of these knots and patterns again. Is this right? No, you no? did the same way twice. Oh, man. So just undo the last one. And then, yeah. This chord is the working chord. So it goes over. Yeah. And under. And up. Oh. Is that right? Um, yep, yeah, you did it. And then this goes over under again. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, two more. This one. I think I did too many. So. Did you? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think you need to do one more. One more? Yeah. So this one? So yeah. One. So the knots that we're using in this pattern, they're all basic macrame knots. So the half hitch knot, the large head, the square knot, and then we're ending with the gathering knot too. Once you know these knots, you can make a lot of different macrame patterns. So once I learn these knots, I can apply to any project? Yeah, for sure. Planning Even errors. this pattern, you can apply to almost any okay, project. Okay. So okay. what are these, three knots? There's four knots for okay. this pattern. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've finished the alternating half inch knot chain on both sides, we're going to connect them with the square knot. So I'm going to take those two sides, gather them together, right, and then using the far left and far right chords as working chords, we're going to make a square knot. And a square knot is made with two opposite half knots. So what I like to do is fold the left one over, over the middle two chords to the right, right, and then take the far right chord over that left chord, and then you're going to bring it to the back. And back. then through the loop on the left side. So this is one half knot. So pull on the horizontal cords now to tighten. Okay, let me do this again. <laughs> so this one goes over two. Yeah, over here. And then the this. left, no, the right one goes over and behind. And then through the left loop over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pull on the middle cords. Like this? Yeah. Now you have to pull. Yeah. That one does not look right. I Did you make enough on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. You have to make one more. Oh. Half a shot. So you guys should not be following my, <laughs> my keychain. So this way? Mm, I think this is the working cord. So this way? Yeah. And over, under. Yeah. 
Okay, now you can make the square knot. Okay, so now this goes over two of them. Yeah. And this goes under and through this loop. Yeah. Yeah. And then pull on the... Like this? Yeah. You can pull on the middle cords after. So like this. Yeah. And now we're going to do an another half knot, but opposite sides. So now you take the right cord goes over. over to the left, and then the left cord over to the back and through the right loop. So it's seven alternating half hitches on both sides. And then how many square knots? Just one square knot to one connect. And is this the right? first part of the chain is now done. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a good square knot. Good job. Okay. We made it past the square knots. So now we're going to work with those inner two, uh, inner four cords, but two cords at a time again. So underneath. Yeah, so underneath. You can take this to the top like what Eric just did. And now we're going to make another series of alternating half hitch knots. So we only made seven in the last one. We're going to double it this time and we're going to make 14. So I'm going to start off with the right or the left two again and we're going to make a series of 14 alternating half hitches. 14. So. Well, what did you do there? One, one half hitch. Like this? Yep. Then I switch it on this side? Yep. You just keep alternating until you hit 14. So that was two. Three, four, four, five, six, five, eight, six. If you guys aren't able to follow along right now, I, I believe this video does get saved on Amazon, right? Yeah, so this will probably go on the Amazon. Well, definitely be on the YouTube. Yeah, we're going to download it and upload it onto YouTube after. Yeah. So you guys can watch it there. So how many knots? How do you? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. What constitutes as a like a knot? Is like those um, little side kind of loop things. So like zigzag. So yeah, zigzag. So it's like one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So you need fourteen. So I'm at fourteen now, eight. and then I'm going to do the same thing with the right. Is this the right course. one? Is this the right way? No, you did the same way twice again. I know it get, can get really confusing which way is which. So usually you can see here this zigzag, I guess, the loop is on the left side. So it means we just use the right cord. So the next cord that you use will be the left cord. Gotcha. So I'm going to start far right. How's everybody doing so far? Are you guys doing a great job like I am? <laughs> or completely not working out for you guys? Uh -oh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
case is 14. Eight. Does that look right? Yeah, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, you did this one the wrong way. Okay, just one more the right way, and then you're fine. So Which use way? this cord. And it goes over, under, yeah. through. Okay, good stuff. Mine's looking beautiful already. <laughs> okay, do the same thing with the right two. Things. Do I go this way first? Yeah. And this. So one. Forty-four inches, and it's getting short. Wow, I got the same problem. How, how much length do you have left, Deb? Deborah? Write it. I have to write it. You may want to do less double uh, half hitch knots for yours. You could probably use just ten half hitch knots. Oh, you think you did it wrong? That's okay. What part is she at? You can definitely. Start over. She cut it too short? No, I, th I think she cut the right size. I'm not sure which part she's on. Seven and a half. Seven. Oh, that should still be enough. How much is seven inches? Let's see. How much do I have left? I have about, once I finished my 14, I have about 8 inches left. 8, actually. I have about 9 inches, I guess. So you're only an inch and a half shorter? You should be fine. So, I think you might be fine. How much am I? No, measure the length here. Oh. Yeah, you're about eight and a half inches, so I think you might be fine, Deborah. But give it a try with the rest of the pattern, and we will see. So, can you switch? So now, again, similar to what we did up here, we're going to connect these two. So bring the top part back down. Bring these over, and connect in the middle with a square knot. So using so, the... So, what? Where? So bring this back down. Okay. Then bring these together. These two? Yeah, and connect with a square knot. A square knot. Yeah. Okay, so a square knot is over to... And this one's So I'd like to just... Under Hold all four cords like this, Eric. Okay, show me again. Hold it closer to the top. Okay. And then hold the hold the right cord and the left cord with your index and thumb. 
and then like the two middle cords can just be off to the side. So this one goes over? Yeah, over. But like hold it like this, like hold the middle two cords with mm -hmm. the back fingers. Yeah. You're not doing that. Hold these two here. <laughs> okay. And then hold this one with your index and your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. And hold this with your index and your thumb. And then take the left cord over to the right. Yeah. And then take this cord mm -hmm. over and then through the loop on the left. This? Yeah. Pull it through. And then now we can pull on the left and right cords to tighten. And I'm still holding on to the anchor cords with my back fingers, but I switch sides now. I think one's too short. Um, how many did you make? I think it might be... So this might happen because you made it too tight, tight on this side uh, and more loose on that side. That's okay though. Let's see. That one, one is a little bit tighter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you made it really tight on this side. Oh man. That's okay. Just finish the square knot. There's gonna be a, a little bit of space. Just okay. do it as tight as you can. And then finish off with one more opposite half knot. I'll use the wrong cords. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so how do I... Okay, and then do the opposite now. So take the right over to the left. And then the left cord over that cord, and then through the loop. And then here's another square out. I'm gonna pull on the inner cords to tighten. Is this right? Yep, that's right. Doesn't look right. I like to shift the cords so that's nice and tight. Okay. Okay. And then pull this down. Okay. And then, really, all you have to do is lift this part up and then repeat the exact same thing that we just did again. The square knot. So on. the 14 on each side. 14 alternating half hitch knots and then we're going to connect one more time with um, square knot square knot yeah okay so so again so this one so 14 yeah one two Okay.
your course might be getting a little short. So now we're going to bring it to the front, and we're actually going to Eight. take the longer cords this time. So I'm going to take the slightly longer cords here to make that square knot. Mm -hmm. Running out of cord. 13, yeah. 14. Okay, that's good. Now bring this down and then take and then flip them over so that your longer cords are outside and make a square knot. Longer cords are outside? Yeah. Okay. So this goes over? Start with the left side first. So this goes over? Yeah. This one goes under and goes over. Yep, over and then through the back, remember? Oh, this one goes through the back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this one under, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, with the middle two cords, or middle four cords now, we're going to finish off how we had started with, with the seven alternating half inch knots on both sides. So instead of 14, we're going to do seven. I'm going to start with the inner cord first. So inner cord, because it's a little longer, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing on the other side. One, two. Is this right? Um, yeah, and then you have to finish off with one more. No, you didn't use the longer cords though. So. Okay, so. So, hold these two, right? These are the middle. See. So these two are the middle? The shorter cords are in the middle. Okay. And this one goes over? No. Do this one first. But, sure. That one, yes. This one goes underneath. And then through the loop on the left. Yeah. And then now do the right side over. So this goes over. Yeah. And this one goes under. through the right loop. This one doesn't look right. Is this right? Yeah. This looks right? Okay. Yeah. So make it tight. And then you usually pull on the cords. Which to one? Tighten. This All one? of them. I pull on the middle two cords because sometimes the cords get scrunched up above here. You want to pull on the anchor cords to tighten them too. Okay. That looks good. Is that right? Yeah. And then flip that over, and then seven more alternating half inch knots on both sides. But start with the middle ones first. Uh, you have your cords lengths all interesting. Okay. Yeah, my yeah, cords are all uneven. Start 
Let's start the inner core anyways. Okay, so start from the inner. I'll just make seven. So if you guys are where I'm at, we're going to cut one more strand of cord. Um, it's going to be at 40 centimeters Two. long. And let me get what that Three. in inches is for you. Four. That's cut 16 inches. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah. That and then same thing. So I go from inside yeah. out. So one. Okay. I'm running out of cord. That's fine. Okay. So I already pre cut this 40 strand for you. I can just trim off some of this. Yeah, so the thing with the metallic threads is at the towards the end it might get really tricky to work with because it sometimes separates from the ends so if you are a total beginner i wouldn't recommend using these metallic cords to do your first project um i would wait till you get the hang of the knots first and then and then use the metallic cords if you want because so it can just I'm be really it can get really frustrating when the cord the string separates or the thread separates from the cord and the it's metallic. just, yeah, just gets hard to work with. So I already pre-cut this for you. Okay. So we're going to use that 40 centimeter or 16 inch cord to make the gathering knot to finish off the keychain at the very end. Hopefully you guys make your knots nice and tight and you have some fringe left. But what we're going to do is we're going to gather all the cords at the end and we're going to take this cord and we're going to make a gathering knot. So to make a gathering knot take one end mm -hmm. and we're going to place it here hold it with your thumb and then we're going to make a loop so mm -hmm. make a loop a small loop like like so hold it with your thumb. Got it. And then we're going to take the longer end and we're going to wrap it around. So bring it to the back, or front, yeah, front, back to the front. We're going to wrap it around several times. I would say like three or four times. Yep. Keeping it nice and snug. Okay, I'm on my fourth time around. And then take that cord end, that longer cord end, and weave it through the loop that we made in the beginning. Got it. And then now pull on that top end that we left. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And then wait until that knot part is hidden mm -hmm. underneath the gathered part of the knot. And then now all you have to do is cut off the excess cords. So I'm going to snip the top part off first. This top part. And then just making sure everything is nice and smooth. If you snip it off, it's not going to fall out? Nope. Okay. And then you can cut off the bottom one too. Or you can leave it for your fringe, but sometimes 
if you pull on it, you can undo the knot, so I'm just going to cut it. So now what you're left with is just a little bit of fringe. So it's cut the bottom. And what I'm going to do first, should I cut it? I'm going should to I cut it. Should I cut it? Should I cut it? Okay. I'm okay. Cut it. I'm going to use a fringe comb, and I'm going to comb through the fringe. That's the nice thing about the rainbow cord is it fringes so nicely and so easily. And we have these fringe combs available on Amazon as well. We actually sold out of them super quick, so they're making, uh, we have new stock coming and they're making its way back to Amazon. It'll just take a little bit of time, so. Okay, so I'm just through this. So once it's combed through, then you can cut off the uneven ends. And then, voila, you're now complete with this alternating half inch chain keychain. Hopefully you guys enjoy this pattern. If you guys end up applying this pattern to other projects or if you guys made the keychain with us today and you want to share with me your finished piece. How does everyone how did everyone turn Instagram. out? Do your guys' turn out okay? Yours is not bad, Eric. It's not bad. I thought yeah. it was perfect. Yeah, it's it's good. As a beginner, it's it's hard to work out your tension when you're knotting. Some knots might be a little bit more tight. Some knots might be how a do little I, more loose. How do I improve on this to make it uh, I think better. one thing is you could work on your tension so, so that you, you don't have like a large gap here. Cause Where's that large gap? Large gap sure? right here. So where? Because you made it tighter here, but then this one it, it was super loose. Right. So you can see that big so hole I there. So I had to add. I Just tighten. make your knots the same tightness yeah, all the looks, way around. Yeah, it looks like this side is more tight than this side. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But that was still really good. I hope you guys learned something new mm -hmm. from this workshop. Um, this is super fun. Is Do you have anything else to say? Oh yeah, we have another workshop tomorrow. We're going to be going over another keychain pattern and we're going to be using another knot for that. So stay tuned. Um, follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, almost any social media platform you can think of. I'm on TikTok too. I just, I just got it like a month ago. I'm not super active on there, but um yeah we're on basically anything and we post um we post about events like this live workshops and new tutorials on youtube cord sales and all that fun stuff on those media platforms so if you guys want to follow us on there then definitely do that and um, tomorrow's workshop is 5 30 p.m. No. Mountain Time. No. Um, so Morning. join us again tomorrow for that. It'll be another fun one. They said it kept on freezing. What? Oh, really? It kept on freezing. There's a freezing issue? Okay. I think that has something to do with Amazon. Okay, we'll try to work on that lit and hopefully that will stop tomorrow. That's annoying. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you for letting us know these technical issues can get can get a bit tricky. But, yeah. But we'll try to troubleshoot that. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys had fun. All right. Um and I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow if you guys participate. Let us know if you guys have any questions or shoot me a message on I think Instagram is the best place to, inst uh, mm -hmm. to message me, but we'll see you guys again. Bye.